In this video, we're going to install TMS 15.9 onto Windows Server 2016. Before beginning any installation of TMS, be certain to review the hardware, software, and SQL requirements in the TMS installation documents. For this demonstration, I'm using an external SQL Server, SQL Server 2016, with a new instance named TPLab2 TMS. But you could also just be running SQL Express on the same Windows Server if you wanted to. Before I begin the installation, one of the requirements for 15.9 is to have .NET 4.7 installed. To ensure I'm running the correct .NET version, I'm going to open regedit and go to HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, .NET Framework Setup, NDP, V4, Client. Here you can see the version is 4.7.02053, so this meets the requirements for 15.9. If this version was 4.8, the TMS installation would fail, and I'd need to remove .NET 4.8 from Windows Update and then install 4.7 before attempting to install TMS. Another prerequisite for installing TMS 15.9 on a Windows server not co-located with a SQL server is to have the appropriate SQL native client installed on this server. As you can see, I have the native client installed. You can find a link to this client in the TMS installation documentation. After checking the .NET version and that I have the SQL native client, we can install TMS. Launch the installer as administrator. The first dialog box gives you the option of installing the TMS software and the TMS log collection utility. I would encourage you to install both. The log collector makes it much easier to turn up debug logs for complex issues. Click yes to accept the license agreement and now you need to enter your SQL Server details. I'm going to enter my SQL Server's host name and then the instance name I created, and then enter the SA password I created when I built the SQL Server. If you're not using the SA account, the user you're using must have admin rights to the SQL Server. On this window, you enter your TMS release key and any option keys you have. These were delivered by email as pack keys to the individual who ordered TMS. If you don't currently have these keys, you can just click Next and then add them later in the TMS application under Administrative Tools, Configuration, Network Settings. Until you do install these, TMS will function in trial mode with only three system licenses. In this Network Settings page, you can fill in this information if you have it. Otherwise, once TMS is installed, you can also edit this later in Administrative Tools, Configuration, Network Settings. This next window is for the IP ISDN zone information. You must fill in these fields in order to proceed, so put something in the first dialog box and pick your country in the dropdown. And here I'm just going to leave the default location to install TMS. Now, since this is a new TMS installation, we'll have to generate an encryption key. This key is used by TMS to encrypt and decrypt all the passwords it stores for endpoints and infrastructure. Copy this key to a file and save it somewhere because it may be needed one day if your Windows Server fails. This last page is just a summary of everything we've configured so far, so click Next. TMS will install Microsoft IIS and then install and configure TMS 15.9. After TMS is installed, the TMS Log Collector installer will run. I'm going to leave the default location, but I'm going to provide access for anyone signed into this server. Now that both installations are done, TMS should already be running on the server. We can check by opening up a web browser on the TMS server and going to localhost slash TMS. I can see the application opens and it's asking me for my user information, confirming that the installation was a success. And that's all there is to installing the Cisco TMS application. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.